Spring has sprung, but we'll start to tap into some spring-type storms a little later on this week. But it was nice to see uh, at least we're finally looking at a transition. So we got one storm here, another one here, and both of these are following the jet stream. And then we'll watch an area of pressure form out of the Gulf of Alaska. That'll be digging down in the Pacific Northwest, but that's all upstream energy. What we're dealing with now is just a little bit of milder weather, some in and out clouds, and a little bit of snow trying to push up against that Montana, Idaho, Wyoming state line. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Kerr reporting for KBZK and KBZK Storm Tracker Weather Mobile app. Take a look at the hour by hour forecast and in and out clouds trying to warm up into the lower 40s this afternoon. A few snowflakes at higher elevations. Clear and cool heading into the overnight, but we'll start to tap back into some increasing clouds, which could lead to some snow showers again, mainly along the Montana Idaho line throughout the day tomorrow. And then a slightly stronger push of moisture will start to show up here on Thursday, along with a much warmer air mass. And there are some minor concerns for rapid snow melt and flooding across parts of the Bozeman area, but it does include much of southwest Montana east of the divide later this week. But for the short term, best chance for some snow accumulation should be on the minor side, Monida Pass, Reynolds Pass, Target Pass, West Yellowstone, and back into the Cook City. So somewhat cloudy this afternoon, Bozeman and Belgrade. Skies will clear after midnight.